Welcome to Masomo e-learning, where we enhance the new curriculum through digital content. Revision stories, the circulatory system, inter interview methodology, characters. Interviewer, Ana Kwamboka. Circulatory system, Mesha Kwarambo. Welcome to our program Revision Stories. Today we are honored to have a guest with us. Who is the circulatory system? Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. First questions first. Who are you and what do you do? <laughs> I am simply uh, the system that helps in the flow of blood from the heart to the body organs and from the body organs to the heart. The flow of blood in the body is known as blood circulation. Well explained, but tell us what makes up the circulatory system? Very nice question. The circulatory system is made up of parts, parts of the human body, which are Blood, say after me, blood. Blood. Blood vessels. Blood vessels. And heart. And heart. I know the viewers have heard about these parts somehow, but please tell us about those parts in your in yours in detail so that the so that we could understand them. Let me start with the blood. Blood is a transport liquid in the body and it is made up of components which are plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Now, plasma is a watery part of the blood. It is the largest component of blood and it carries substances like proteins, amino acid, mineral salt, urea, and glucose. Yes. The blood, the red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs with the help of hemoglobin, a red pigment. Yes. The white blood cells are defenders of the body. They, def they fight against the germs entering the body. They produce antibodies and give us immunity against diseases. Okay. Oh, yes. Finally, the platelets, they help in the clotting of blood when one gets hurt. Blood clotting prevents excessive blood loss. It also stops the germs from entering the body through the wound. Wow, very well explained. But what about the heart? Ha, the heart. <laughs> the heart is a muscular organ located in the chest. It receives and pumps blood to all parts of the body. And it has two sides, right and left side. This is the diagram of the heart. As you can see, it has four chambers. Upper chamber, the auricle, lower chamber, the ventricles, the right auricle receives deoxygenated blood from the body. The left auricle receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. The right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs. The left ventricle pumps blood to all parts of the body. These are now, these here are valves between ventricles and uh, auricles, they are like doors that cannot open backwards. That is why they prevent blood from flowing backwards. This right here is vena cava. It carries deoxygenated blood from the body to the right auricle, pulmonary arteries. And they carry deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for removal of, of carbon dioxide and addition of oxygen. Pulmonary veins, these ones here, carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left auricle. Aorta, this one here, 
carries oxygenated blood from the left auricle to all parts of the body. Well explained. And what about the blood vessels? Oh, blood vessels. Blood vessels are tubes in which blood flows and they are only three types. Arteries, veins and capillaries. Yes, carry on. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. They carry oxygenated blood, but only pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood. Arteries have thick walls to make blood flow in high pressure. They also have pulses with no valves. They are deep in the body. The main artery is aorta. And what about the veins? Ah, veins. Veins are blood vessels that carry blood to the heart. They carry the oxygenated blood. Only pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood. Their walls are thin and blood flows in, 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 in them in low pressure. They have no pulse and they have valves that prevent the backflow of blood. Vena cava is the main vein. And did you leave out capillaries? Oh, of course not. Capillaries are the smallest blood vessel. They join the arteries and the veins. They are like a network within the body. Blood flows in and out of capillaries. Food and oxygen goes out uh, to the body and carbon dioxide and urea flows into the capillaries. That is all about my circulatory system. That was quite deep. We have an idea now how your system works. Thank you very much for coming to share your story with us. Thank you so much. Welcome, bye!